I made my star on a tree with the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. All right. <gasps> I'm never doing that again. Really proud of Sunny. Such a good boy. Thank you so much to Lego Group for sponsoring our video today. During the holiday season, we like to look for ways to give back. We were excited when we saw that the Lego Group was doing the Build to Give campaign. It's really simple. You create a star out of Lego bricks, share it on social media with the hashtag Build to Give, and they will be donating a Lego set to kids in need. That's so sweet. That's actually really nice. I'm glad that we can just serve the world using our Lego bricks. All right, you ready to build a star? Yeah. I'm loving that you added a pumpkin <laughs> onto your star. Yours has personality. Yeah. So while we're building stars, Janae wanted to build a house. Is it a house for the horses? No, it's a normal house. Do they want this as an umbrella for your horses if it rains? Yeah. If their heads get wet. Thanks for making this for me. No problem. Our family loves Lego friends. The kids enjoy building the sets and then they play with them for hours with their imaginations, getting really creative with the little intricate details of the sets, just making them come alive. Well, if I just find a microphone, then I could sing. If you have a little microphone, we're gonna use some of the fun pieces from these sets as we build the stars today. My star is finished. I like the blue and white motif. It reminds me of snowflakes. I finished my star, Mom. I love the colors, pink and purple. Whoa, Elise found a great piece for building a star. When I spin it, it looks like the rainbow. I'm so excited about this campaign because I have seen the joy and fun and creative learning and hands-on exploration that my kids have experienced through building with Lego bricks. And I just want all kids to have those experiences and opportunities. So I'm just excited to be able to do something as simple as building a star and having that mean that some child somewhere gets to experience the joy of Lego bricks. I made a gear so that when I do it, it moves it too. Now you have a spinning star. Jeremy's in the collecting phase. He's digging out all these unique pieces. We're not exactly sure how the bicycle is going to be part of his star. I made my star on a tree with the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh my goodness, I love like this. Okay, it's got a spinning star, we've got Rudolph, and it's on a Christmas tree. Nailed it! Whoa! That's so cool. His vision came to life. Yep. This is Jeremy's galactic star. The Lego group is giving up to 1.5 million Lego sets to kids in need. Let's see how many stars we can build and share this holiday season. And make sure to tag us, because we want to see your creations. And thank you again to the Lego group for sponsoring this video and being an amazing partner over the years. We're making um, Christmas Play-Doh. And look at your Christmas bow. Yeah, thanks. It's adorable. Thanks. So being here in Puerto Rico, we don't have the cold weather and some of the things that make Christmas feel like Christmas, but we found that we really yeah. like Christmas okay. smells. It's gonna smell like a gingerbread house, Elise. Yay. Smell ginger. Oh, that is strong. So it has nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. This looks like dirt. <laughs> oh, it's good. Yay, we have cream of tartar. Now I can make snickerdoodles. I would love that. It's really light. Can I taste it? I guess so. There's egg. nothing egg. in it that'll, yeah, there's no raw eggs, there's Taste it. Yeah, good. Ah. Yeah, it's mostly for smelling good and playing with. What? <laughs> you want some water? I'm never doing that again. It smells so good. But it doesn't taste like Christmas. No, no, I'm not gonna taste it after you just did that. All right, now we gotta cook it. What is there to cook? See, right now it's like cake batter, mm -hmm. and we got it to feel like Play-Doh, so it's gotta get some of the moisture out. It's starting to clump up. All right, so it's supposed to become one thick. Clump. That's what we're making. I tried tasting it, and it tastes like poop. How do you know what poop tastes like? <laughs> I don't even know, okay. but I mm. smelled poop before. <laughs> Sunny's turds. Remember when you put it in my face? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I know. I'm glad we had this conversation. Dad, I'm, I'm just gonna put it at your face for some reason. No, you be stirring. In the comments below, can you feel your nostrils? See how hot it is? It can burn you if you're not careful. Mm, it smells like gingerbread. It smells like wassail to me. What's a wassail? It's a drink that is Christmassy. Can I try? Janae, do you want to come eat it? Can I eat it? I'm so proud of Isaac. He's been working on doing a backflip with a full twist for a couple months now. Uh -huh. And he's finally getting it. Oh! <laughs> Good job. If you keep working on it, it'll get higher and better and cleaner. If you keep your body straight, that'll help. And start twisting yep, I'm proud of you. Look at the cookies. So Kendra got these Christmas flowers. They're waxed. Um, I can't remember the name of them. Waxed up already. Something like that. <laughs> but they're gonna bloom and be beautiful. All during the Christmas season. Yep. You can tell that one's gonna be. I'm is. a little sad about that one. I don't think it's gonna grow. What's crazy though is you don't have to water them and they still grow and bloom. I like it, it's pretty. Upside down, it's a J. This is my name. Yep, Janae. Caleb decided to jump in on the fun. For the first time this Christmas, we got a real wreath, and it smells amazing. We've actually just kind of left it in our closet because it makes our whole room smell like Christmas. You want to smell it? It smells like Christmas. It smells like a real Christmas tree. Yeah, it is. It's the real parts of a Christmas tree put together. I think Sunny is almost ready for a walk, too. You want to take Sunny on a walk? Sure. All right, we're doing a final decoration, we're putting up some Christmas lights around the door. I like it, it's so festive. You're gonna wear those boots? Yeah. Let's go. Good thing you got your boots on, Nene. Your Halloween boots. Yeah. Sometimes Sunny's walks turn into runs. Good job, just sit. You don't have to attack them. Good job, boy. Really proud of Sunny. He's such a good boy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I feel like we're in a time machine. 30. Oh, 30. <laughs> One, two, three, four.